So, I wake up in the morning and one of my fish is dead. Not a nice way to start the morning, but it was a nice ride, buddy. We're going to get you out of there and put you, put you away, I suppose. The other one's fine, so we'll hold on to it. I don't know what happened. I just changed the water yesterday and I put some of that anti-algae stuff. It shouldn't have done anything to hurt the fish, but apparently... The big one just said, I've had enough, so I don't know if it was the water change that caused it to get killed, but I don't think I, it was my fault because the other one's still alive. If I poisoned the aquarium with the water change, the other one would have died as well, so it's all right. Yeah, try to eat something, all right? You need to eat some food. This fish isn't feeling too hot after what happened. I'm guessing it's just upset. I don't know. Kind of wish there was more I could have done, but... You know, there's no use blaming myself. I might have... I, I screwed up. I, I, uh, I probably won't be using this stuff anymore. I don't know if this is what killed it, but... Yeah, I'm probably just not going to bother anymore with this anti-algae chemicals, these, these, these products. But this other one seems alright, it's just shaken up because it's, <laughs> it's had a dead body floating in there for god knows how long. Well, mum just found it just uh, about an hour ago. And, um, so. and its gills were still moving, that's the weird thing. Um, but yeah, it was gone. Anyway, I hope my baby here will um, come good. We just need to get him back into the tank. I need to change the water and clean the tank. I'm just siphoning the water out of there. Um, I mean, I've only had both fish for since um, July last year, so I've only had them a year, and big ones already had enough. So I'm just going to take all the water out of there, clean the tank, and put some fresh water in there and put the smaller fish back in there. I don't know, does that water look strange to you? It's kind of got a milky colour to it. But that's what happened last time when I put that, the algae fix stuff in there. <sighs> I don't know, I guess I'm just going to have to just keep changing the water like I originally did instead of using chemicals when there's too much algae blooming in there. It's the bottom line, I can't take any chances. It's tough being a fish owner, I'm telling you, it's, it may look easy, but this is an absolute, um, this is a science, you cannot mess up, and I'm paying the price, I think, I'm not sure, I mean, this fish is still alive. Here you go, Bubba, you alright? It's okay, it's just really upset, because its friend died, it's just... It just, it doesn't feel too good. Look at it, it's just miserable. We had to glue the stupid tank because there's a crack in it now. That's just lovely. <laughs> Can I ever get a break at all? I tried to give it some food, but it doesn't seem to be hungry. I did notice something about the fish though. It's really pale. Why is it so pale? I think, I think it's pale because of that. It must have been that algae fix. It's, it poisoned them. I mean, how else do you explain how pale it is? I don't know. I've never had a fish before. Me neither. This is the first two fish I've ever owned. So, I hear goldfish change their color when there's like a water change or a change of environment. So, it's perfectly normal. At least I hope it is. Wait a minute. Is water leaking out of the tank? Oh, God. Give me a break. Don't tell me. Oh my god, there's water all over the ground. Yeah. Hang on guys, I'll be right back. I'll try to fix this. So we're going to have to get a new tank. I just uh, put it in a bucket for now with the filter and the oxygen pump. So um, hopefully it'll be good in there and until we come back with a new tank. So... Yeah, I'll just give you guys a 
It's all right, Gil. We'll fix you up. So I did a bit of research, and apparently goldfish turn pale when they're stressed. So I'm guessing the death of its friend is the cause of the stress. So anyway, we better go grab that tank. I'm just going to have some breakfast, have a shower, and we'll head out. All right, so we just put her in this bowl thing for now um, until we get a decent tank for her. For her. So, um, yeah, she'll be all right, I hope. She's still a little bit pale, but uh, I'll just keep monitoring her and, and just um, make sure that she's okay. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. That's a good plan, buddy. That's my um, piano friend, Potato. Play Wonderwall. <laughs> play Wonderwall? Okay, I'm play Wonderwall. <laughs> chaos, mate. Chaos. chaos. Absolute chaos. Total utter chaos. I dropped three <laughs> sticks into my What a meme. God, I can barely hear it probably. Oh. Oh yeah guys, check this out. I got my uh, rolling cube here. Cube string. So, I'll be able to have some fun with this. When I get some time, I'll be able to jack into it. Hopefully you guys saw it out, it was pretty dark. Um, I might uh, take the BC Rich out or the uh, Jackson. I haven't decided yet, but I should come to a decision shortly, I hope. But, but yeah. I'm my ukulele. I'll, I'll most likely take this out basically because I, it's just set up perfectly like it's level the action's all good and everything this one doesn't have strings because I uh, haven't strung it I've just been working on it trying to make sure it's straight because I've been getting some buzz up here so I've been trying to make the nut less defective I've just been working Matt, on it what up you might know this can you can you can you play a ukulele with a guitar pick Oh, that damaged the strings. Uh, I don't know how to play ukulele too well. No, but do you it, think a guitar pick will damage the nylon strings? Uh, no. Not if you're careful. The aquarium down the road, the tanks were way too expensive. They're kind, to be fair, they were kind of um premium stuff, so it really, you know. I got goldfish, I don't have like thousand dollar fish or anything, so I don't know, it's just we're gonna have to wait a while before I can get a new tank. I might order something online from Gumtree or something, that's the only thing I can think of right now. But I, I feel I do not like the idea of leaving the fish in there, uh, it just drives me mental. Um, how small that thing is, so it's not gonna work. I need to get something ASAP, so we'll. I guess I'll call it a night and turn in, um, and get some rest. Hopefully the fish is still there when I wake up. Hopefully. <laughs> still alive and kicking, I should say. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> 